film, a gentleman named Dr. Bill Warner. Oh, you are? Foremost speaker in the United States on political Islam. Ooh. Now, to those who are listening, Islam is not a religion unless you count 20% of what they do. Right. That makes them a religion. But for the most part, Islam is politics. And their politics is to try to take over the world. Right. And we, the people of the United States, have not had enough intelligence, enough oomphs, or whatever you want to call it, to stop these people from doing what the heck they're doing. Mm -hmm. We're allowing them to get away with, with murder. Right. Literally mm -hmm. murder. And uh, until we get wise enough, smart enough, and strong enough to take these people out, we get to we get to, to have to deal with this stuff. Mm -hmm. And and I'm sick of it. I I'm truly truly I'm sick of it. I'm tired. I'm embarrassed that we live in a country that one of the strongest countries in the not one of the strongest country in the history of the world. And we have to stand here and put up with this kind of stupidity. So true. And I'm, I've just had enough. I've, I've truly, truly had enough. Right, and that's why you're, so, that's why you're seeing, uh, who's that guy again you're seeing? Uh, Bill Warner. Bill. Dr. Bill Warner. Okay. So, you, you know what's really funny? The, uh, the, uh, the original meeting was set for a place called Farragut High School in, uh, in Knoxville, Tennessee, mm -hmm. and the school superintendent named McIntyre refused to let him have it there. Really? You know why? Oh yeah, he he got the pressure from the uh, from the uh, school administration, right? Muslims uh, put the pressure on him. Oh jeez! Oh god! He's a coward. I mean, just coward. Not not a Christian man, obviously. We have we had a Christian. We had a Christian guy who actually who actually had the love of Jesus in his heart. His guy would not do do what he did and just cave in like that. He would not do that. And uh, this guy's not obviously. His this guy's weak. And we need to get rid. We need to get rid of this bonehead too, as well. So these get we get rid. Of the, we got to get rid of these soft wolf administrators who are not teaching anything. All they want to do is just have the kids, you know, uh, um, to actually um, have teachers commit adultery to children. That's what's going on right now. These damn pedophiles who are teaching the kids right now and having, uh, you know. Uh, these uh, sexual relationships going on in the classroom, it's just disgusting. It's sinful. It's evilness. Murder. It's evilness. Absolutely. And, you know, this is a downfall. Of, this is what exactly the downfall with the Roman Empire was. You know, we're actually doing this. We're actually re repeating history again, for crying out loud. You know what? Homosexuality was the beginning of the downfall. Yep. The Roman Empire. Bingo. Homosexuality. You see, this was a this is about American utopia again. You see, it's in that book, people. Yeah. Well, you know, you have to have a, a desire to learn and to, to be willing to put in the time to read. Right. To understand all this. Now, I, I admire Mark Levin probably as much or more than all the people on radio. Yeah, I do too. The people, but his his intelligence is far greater than the average American, and his words are far truer. <laughs> and I'm learning from him by the having these books. I'm learning from the guy. That's what I'm doing. I'm educating myself, Ron. Yeah. Absolutely. We gotta do that. Hey man, I'm gonna let you go. Thank you so much for your time, Ron. I appreciate it. Thank you again. All right, I'll talk to you next week. You take care. Bye-bye.